Welcome to Survival Theory. I like camping in the spring, in the summer, but what's one thing that can really bring you down? Mosquitoes. They get very thick. Here in East Texas, they're already very thick. It's been in the mid-80s with high humidity. So, camping with the tent keeps the bugs out and also protects you from the weather. But if good weather is anticipated, I like to camp in the open without a tent. However, the mosquitoes are definitely a problem. The Friendly Swede Mosquito Net. This is basically my summer tent. So let's talk about this and I'll show you how I set it up and I'm going to do some modifications to it to improve it. Alright, so a few quick facts about this Friendly Swede Mosquito Net. It's army green, of course. It's 3 foot 11 wide. It's 7 foot 3 long and about three foot three high in the middle when it's raised up. It's 225 mesh, it's 100% polyester. It weighs 155 grams or about five and a half ounces. It's very light. And of course it compresses into a small little thing here. It's about 15 bucks on Amazon. It's comparable to other products. However, I think this is one of the better mosquito netting products on the market. It also has a lifetime warranty and then for all you tree huggers, this is not treated with any chemicals, so that's a good thing. And right here on the bag, www.thefriendlyswede.com, and then support at thefriendlyswede.com is right there, so good to go. Now, I'll set this up and show you how it looks, how it works, but I'm going to do some modifications to this to improve it, so let's get started. All right, so I just ran a ridge line. About five and a half, six feet high, because that's some of my tarp configurations. I have a ridge line that high, so that's what I'm going to need to test my modifications. Okay, usually when I set this up, I've got a tarp that goes on the ground. Then over this tarp, I'll put my bedding, and then I'll drape the mosquito net over me and just sleep like that. So I'll start with the tarp. And then this is where I would put my bedding on that and then drape the mosquito net over it. So I'm going to skip the bedding part right now because I'm just trying to get this set up and find out how I'm going to modify it and show you how it sets up also. So Now it is mosquito netting. It is fragile. This bag protects it well. So you don't want to drag this through the woods or anything like that. Now it's got this top here, the solid area, reinforced area. And then it's got, comes with all the string here with a little hook on the end here even so that you can hook it up to your ridge line. It's got a, an adjuster there. So let's just hook it up on the ridge line. Now on mine, the red is where your head goes, so I'll just take that down, come over here, stake this down, now I stake it down with the corner of the tarp, it's six foot this way the tarp is, and that mosquito netting stakes in at the second grommet and the tarp is eight foot long and it stakes at that corner as well and then again at the second grommet over there I can usually throw my gear on top of that extra tarp there 
Of course, this folds over under your bedding so they can't come in at the bottom. And you just stretch it up and slide in, or you could unstake it if you needed to. So let me get inside and show you. Nice. Offers a great view of the stars. Keeps the bugs off. Excellent. Here's what I don't like though. How low this gets. I think mosquitoes could bite my feet. The head is just fine. So I'm going to do something to raise this up here. Something permanent. Now the modification I'd like to make is raise this area around the feet like so to give my feet more room and so my feet don't touch the netting and what I usually do is I get oh, mosquitoes what I usually do is I get something smooth that won't damage the net put it inside the net wrap the string around it hang it up over the ridge but every time I do that I risk damaging the mosquito net so I want to come up with something that's permanent where every time I set this up, I can quickly attach it to the ridge line. Problem solved. So, first I need to mark where I want this raised. And I crushed up some blue flowers and mixed it with pine sap and made some painter's tape. So, I'll use that to mark it. I don't want to go too far over the edge somewhere right in there so I'll just mark that painters tape there's where I taped so that's where I want to put my mod and what I have are these small plastic rings this little Hobby Lobby little plastic rings heavy-duty nylon thread And some fabric fusion it's fabric glue this is about 10 bucks from Hobby Lobby so it's not cheap so find something else to do with it after you use it for this what I did is I sewed on one of those rings to a small strip of camouflage cloth just sewed it on like that then I cut a matching piece of cloth as a backer Take this tape off. So that's where I want my cloth underneath. Okay, put that on. I was going to sew something on, but this material is too fragile. I really don't want to sew anything on. So I think gluing is the best option. And this is supposedly heavy duty permanent fabric glue. So, Okay, so we're back outside after our modifications to the Friendly Swede Mosquito Net. So let's get it set up. So the craft project was successful. This is holding very well. Just tied some string onto it on each side, ran it up to the ridge line. Really props that up nice. Job well done. I tried to color these white rings with 
a black permanent marker so they'd be tactical black but it just rubs right off no big deal though time to break camp Now you might be in an area where you want to sleep in one specific spot because maybe that's where the ground is level or softer and there's not really much to attach to. There's one tree so you can't run a ridge line. Well you can run a ridge line with the mosquito net. It's very lightweight. You're only holding up about five ounces and this mosquito net as well as many others have a single attachment point. So you can just go, the, go to the tree about six, seven feet up. Tie a simple half hitch, and you're going to want to run it out. And you can just run it out about 20 or 25 feet because you've got at least 30 foot of ridge line, right? Now I've got a ridge line to hang the mosquito netting on. This mosquito netting goes, only goes up about three feet, so this will work great. Okay, so I just ran a ridge line from that tree. Down, 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 about 20, 25 feet away, staked it down. Then I can hang the mosquito netting. Bedding's all set up. And since I used my stake down there, I just grabbed a stick for that fourth stake. And if you don't have enough line for a 20 or 25 foot ridge line, you put a three or four foot stick right here down to the ground and run about a 15 foot, 12, 15 foot line from the tree over the top of the stick and then down here closer to your setup. Well, I'm gonna set up my mosquito netting in the sun away from the trees. How do I tie it up? Well, first thing you do is you get your tactical ninja sword. You cut you a few branches, six, seven, eight feet long. Timber! Now I'll just run this out and just take it down. Oh, it wants to get in, but it can't. Now, there are other ways to hang it. You could build a tripod and set that up and hang it directly from the tripod, eliminating your need for a ridge line. But just got to use your imagination. Also, I'm going to be coming out with some more videos on shelters, and in, to, in those shelters, I'm going to, going to incorporate using a mosquito net, because that's what I like to do in the spring and summer, for obvious reasons. And I'm using the Friendly Swede mosquito net. Um, like most single point attachment uh, mosquito nets, it's pretty easy to set up. It's pretty versatile in the ways you can set it up. So get out there and use your gear and have fun doing it. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.
How do you get these things back in? Well, there goes my tactical black ninja sword. About 25 years of service, $10 well spent.